All right, so we are. I've started working on the bolt handle for the Springfield 03, and to start off, well, there's many different ways of doing it, I suppose, but the method I prefer is making the bolt handle separate. And there are some drawbacks, which I'll touch up later. But to start off, you get a standard four four layer uh, laminated paper and then you would uh, trace out the pattern of the bolt and the handle, bolt handle and you would make multiple cutouts so you have the single cutout of a laminated sheet and you get a whole bunch of those and you can super glue and uh, epoxy them together to get uh, two layer and four and so on and because the bolt handle is a part which will be, I guess, uh, which is going to handle a lot of stress, um, I've decided to put some reinforcements, which is just a simple paper clip. And uh, these will, uh, I would say, increase the strength of these uh, individual parts by approximately about 30 or 40 percent. So it's better than nothing. And it's the same thing for this trigger that I made earlier. It's got a paper clip reinforcement running through it. So it's sort of like a reinforced concrete, but essentially you got a reed bar inside of the concrete which would prevent it from completely shattering. Give it some of a flexibility, I guess. So to incorporate that paper clip, all you do is get the layered paper you want, shape out the the reinforcement or the paper clip in this case. Just place it over and use a plier or press to just press the print onto it and then you'll just use a knife to cut a channel into it and then you'll just put a super glue in the channel, place the paper clip inside, place the additional layer over it and just clamp it together and you would get this. And then after you're done with that you just glue rest of them together and you get yourself a bolt handle and uh, as you can actually see the bolt handle is slightly curved so before you want to glue all this together you would want to preform them into a proper shape otherwise it will cause it to uh, I don't know what's the proper term but if you have them glued together and you bent them you're gonna actually create spaces in between which would cause separation that's gonna weaken the thing so, and if that does happen, you can always apply super glue and try to press them together with a clamp. And the problem with this method, as I mentioned earlier, is because it's not a one piece milled out component like the real thing, the weakest point or the breakage point is obviously going to be a contact surface between the bolt handle and the bolt itself. And, uh, to prevent breakage, obviously I'll be using some a lot of uh, epoxy and super glue. But uh, what I will be doing is probably drill a small hole, like here, and I'll probably put uh, a small screw or something in place, and a couple pins here and there, and I'll just epoxy that and just blend it in, and hopefully that would uh, keep it together, like it did in the the bolt action rifle I made previously and at least that's the plan so we'll see how that goes so just gotta put the bolt handle and then start working on the lugs and we'll be done with the bolt